Right boys and girls, welcome to the next video. Um, a couple of days ago you would have seen us at um, somewhere in Wales, some rock mark. It wasn't the greatest but it was an experience, it was something to do, something different, something different for the channel, it's not something we do all the time. Um, and now, well, this is, we've just left there basically, for you guys it's been a few days, but for us it's been, well, a couple of hours. We're now at the Mumbles, and that is the pier. Now we're going to go down there and try and catch a trigger fish. Um, that's the plan. Um, so yeah, we're travelling very light. I've got a cool bag with a few bits in and my rods. Luke's gone balls deep in, as he always does, and he's bought the lot. Good lad, because he's an absolute machine. Um, yeah, cracking day here. Weather's lovely. Um, um, yeah, that's about all I can say at the minute. Until we get out on the pier, I like to talk a bit more, show you the rigs we're using and the setups and stuff. Um, yeah, that's about all I can say. So I will see you when we're fishing and we're set up and we'll go from there in a bit. So we've just got so on the pier. Approaching. I'm setting up and these fellas have got a trigger fish on. Exactly what we came here for. Look at that. What an amazing fish. It's honestly, and on, on, on this fella's little rod, it is fighting fantastic. Go on. Yes, look at that. I'm, yes. I'm putting him in massive salt this on my little, oh, on my little spinning rod. No. <laughs> You've just become our new best friends, lads, to be fair. Nice one, gents. What's that, a little bit of squid? Yeah, but look at it, yeah. Yeah, lovely. I've never, actually, you know what? I've never even seen a trigger fish in the flesh. I'm not excited, though. Mine, mine the trigger on his head. If that goes up, it's going straight through your hand. Oh, yeah, nice. Hammer of his head, right behind his eyeballs. Top of his eyeballs? Yeah, that's it, right there. So, right there, right there. Yeah, you're fine now. Everywhere else you're fine, it's just that trigger on top of his head. So, you could have got out and filmed then, I'd have been a fucking. If he does your hand with Yeah, that. Steve, that could have been good footage. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant to see one. As soon as we get here. Yeah, that's it. See that little dorsal yeah. thing that just stuck up. Oh, I've got me talking like I know what I'm talking about. I ain't got a clue. Pick it up then. Oh, well done, lads. Well done. Oh. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, right, I've got to set up. I need to get I need my own trigger fish. I need my own trigger fish. Right people, I will um well, I'll bring you back. I don't know about that. What you got Steve? Oh, it's going. It's going, it's, it's going out of time. Come on, stop mucking about. No, it's a broom. It's a broom. Broom. Oh, they fight, they do fight well, don't they? They are, they are good fun. I reckon you'll be alright there, Steve. Oh, look. Oh, well. Well, we know they're there. On the pop ups and all, yeah? Thank you, gents. Thank you. Oh, no. I do. Oh, another fish here, guys, but I don't know if we're going to get it in. Is that a red mullet? It is a red mullet. I've never seen one of them in the flesh. Oh, I've never seen one of them in the flesh. I know. All these new species. We just catch white and the dogfish everywhere we go. What a cracking little fish that is, look. I don't know. Hand is like proper, like they do. They look very, they do look very Mediterranean, don't they? They do, don't they? They look wicked, and they got should have little tongues. Yeah, they have. Yeah. Oh, look at that. happy days. Scale well done, buddy. Well, nice one, <laughs> mate. I know. Look it. Look at it. Hold on, no, hold on, hold on. There's a shark attached to that. There's something attached to that. Look at the rip under the water. There's got to be something attached. No, it can't be because it'd be upside down, wouldn't it? It's got. A it's got a, yeah, no. We we'll forget about that. It's a great white. Lost it. No, it's in the snack. Oh, it oh, I can see it. I can see it. it's still bouncing. Yeah, it's attached to the balloon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, if it comes up, I'll bring it back. 
There's fish everywhere on this pier. It's another, it's another red, I need one of them because I've never caught one. <laughs> well, well done, gents. What's that? A red, another red, a red, mullet. red mullet. What's that there? Another red mullet. Green. That's unbelievable. Smashing it. I know. Everyone said it was. That's, that fella just yeah. left. He went. He ain't caught nothing all day. Yeah. How's that happening? I know we was like, oh, should we go back? Yeah, we, we almost went back to the van. We turned up and it's like the hottest place in the country. But you did say though, Bruce, after you went I did say you weren't the fish hunter, didn't I? What did I say? <laughs> Is it a good one, lads? There you go. Nice one. Happy days. And you managed to get it out of the snag, which was yeah. a touch. Nice. They are stunning. Some of them they got like little they got little blue spots in them. The ones we get down to Celsius out of my out of my sieve, there they got yeah. Lovely fish. They just do you, they're worse than bass. Like asbo fish. But I, I need to get on this action now, I need to fish myself. I'm gonna get out from the underside, so I'm gonna go with the fish on the other side. Mate, we have been here. How long have we been here? We've been here half an hour. We've seen four different species. Yeah. Triggers, bream. That's it. I'm a bit wonky. Cam so we've seen triggers, bream, yeah. red mullet, yeah. and, and down there's a smooth out. That's unbelievable. There, there is only one problem with all of this. I haven't caught none of it. <laughs> I'm a blanker. That's some expert netting skills again there, gents. Yeah. Definitely. It's a stunning place as well, to be fair, isn't it? It is lovely. Yeah. Yes, Luke? What do you mean no? But why not? I've caught a, um, what have you caught? Uh, caught uh, Oyster shell, isn't it? Or mussel shell? Yeah. Right, ragworm time. Well, guys, it's gone a bit dead. Wind's massively picked up. It's lovely because the last couple of days we've had massive, like 40 degree temperatures where I live. Um, and to have this bit of breeze, nice sunshine, bit of breeze, it's lovely to be fair. Sorry if there's any wind noise. Um, I've now put out a second rod just because I'm desperate to catch a fish off this pier. Since so many incredible fish, that trigger fish was brilliant to see. Um, I'm quite glad I got it on camera. So thanks to the lads, our subscribers as well to be fair. Um, but since we've been here, two people have come up and said, oh, you're a fish hunter. Um, which is good. It's, got, um, it's nice to meet some of you guys, definitely. I, I mean, I wish I could meet you all, but obviously it's impossible. Um, so yeah, the fellas that was in this corner that had them red money, they've gone. So I've sort of moved up here just to give Luke a bit more room. Steve's put another rod out. And um, yeah, I've got one under the pier and one down this side of the pier. I did stick ragworm out in the middle, but it was just nothing nothing out there happened either. So, um, yeah. What a lovely place, though. What a lovely place. We've just been formed, apparently, at low water. You can walk from that island. To that, from the mainland to that island, and then straight across to the other island. And apparently, people walk out there of a night time at low water and stay on there all night and fish. Which, to be honest, seems like a bit of an adventure to me, and I think that's going to have to be done. I wonder who's coming. <laughs> um, I think that is definitely going to have to be done because um, it just looks great, doesn't it? I mean, it might be better off on the other side, fishing into open ocean. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, but, yeah, but don't it lock it already a long enough walk with all your gear? Do you want to add weight? I just, I don't understand you, Luke. You're just not right in the head. I'll tell you what, why don't we take some weightlifting equipment over there and do a workout while we're there? Yeah, we could. You see that structure? No, Luke, please start doing pull-ups on the old structure. <laughs> Probably wouldn't take my weight. <laughs> but no. <clears throat> it's very deep, isn't it? What did you say it was, Steve? About 15 metres? 10 metres? It's deep anyway, down there. Yeah. Happy days. 
right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show off and hopefully we'll catch another fish. But, well, if not, we don't. And I'll bring it back and tell you that I was really rubbish and didn't catch another one. No, look, do the little one, do the little one. Leave that one. The racers run off to the toilet. So, um, we're having a bit of fun. How's your bell, love? Has he snagged it? Oh, I'm touching that. He's snagged down there. <laughs> maybe, no. maybe not then. No, no. no. We'll leave that one. In a bit. No, no, no. We'll no, no, no leave it. Leave it because he's got the bell on that one. Yeah, so we'll have the bell and then he'll come in. And oh. All right. I'll keep an eye. Hurry up. Yeah, he has, look. Look what you we caught, Grace. Two there. starfish. Them yeah, just put put the thing on the top hook. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. I've even put it on especially for you. No, I've had it on the whole time. Um, have I gone the wrong way, look? I don't know why you're asking me, mate. No, I don't Where know. I don't fucking lost right, so guys, we were going to do another video tonight, but we're all hanging out of our absolute rectums. Um, literally. literally. Literally hanging out of our rectums. Um, <laughs> oh dear. Right, so, oh, I've actually definitely gone the wrong way, I think, look. No, it's M3. We've got to go M3. This is M3. Oh no! This, this is a great, great video. Honestly, right, so, right, so guys, we basically we've sacked it off. We're going home at night early. Um, we are, we was meant to be fishing till three o'clock this morning. I spoke to a mate. The top end of the channel for the Dover sole is absolutely dead. He said there was no point in doing it. He said the tide's too small. You're wasting your time. So we we, we sat outside a chip shop. In where was we? Pulf Call. Whatever you pronounce it. Uh, no, so, Pulf. Pulf. Yeah, Pulf Call, wasn't it? Yeah. No, no, Pulf Call's... Port Talbot. Was, uh, no, it wasn't even no. that. Oh, where, wherever we was, we were sitting outside, there was a chip shop that sold beer. So, well, we had chips and well, they had a beer and I had a Diet Coke, obviously, because yeah. I was driving. Panaf. Uh, Panaf. Panaf. Yeah, whatever. Don't bother Panaf. fishing Panaf. Yeah, Panaf. <laughs> um, so, Panaf. we decided, that's it, let's go home. I was knackered and I just, I want to go home to my bed, if I'm honest. So, that's that. I want to say a massive, massive thank you for those guys who watched both parts of the video. Um, I, to be fair, I have already had, I've, I, I sort of let slip the other day on my other, on my scrap channel that I was going to Wales to do this video, which normally I could try and keep it quiet because people like to copy me and get there first. Um, and there was a few people that said, listen, let us know and we will quite happily help out. So if there is anyone that wants to help out with the trip, my PayPal link will be in the description of both the videos. Um, if, you, if you want to help out, amazing. If you don't, thanks for watching the video either way. We had a great time. We didn't like. Right, we didn't catch the fish we wanted to catch, but we had a wait. We have been buzzing all the way home. Um, it's still recording, yeah. It's got a red the light flashing. Is it, is it, yeah. is it red light the red light's yeah, flashing, yeah. but there's nothing on the screen. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's fine. Um, sorry, guys. My camera ran. Shit. No. <laughs> oh, there we go. I got, I got it back now. Look. But I uh, listen. We laughed the whole six hours there, and we've been pretty much laughing the whole four and a half hours back. Um, yeah. And that's what it's all about. The fishing so, is a bonus, isn't it? Yeah, you know, is, yeah. you've got a good, good crowd, good crack. Look, we've had, a, we've had, we've had a lads couple of days in Wales and in a transit. What happens in Wales? What happens in a transit? Transit stays in Wales and stays in a transit. I suppose. Oh, I've definitely gone the wrong way because I've never seen that. We're going to Sanders. Oh, we got people. I'm going to have to go because I'm bloody lost. 
We what, need a sat nav. What did you catch at Nothing. Well, it looked like, look like a kebab van. Oh. I might have to literally do a year a year because yeah. we're going to end up somewhere. Anyway. That's basically how our trip has gone. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Much love, everyone. In a bit. Total pit. All right, guys. So once again, the video is not over. I don't know if any of you saw the little short I done the other week. I, uh, last week, weekend, I had an absolute nightmare. So most people know I've done the rod giveaway with Medway Tackle Supplies. The fella that won it didn't come forward. We gave him till Saturday and said we're going to redraw it, which was Saturday just gone. We said we was going to redraw it Saturday just gone. On that Saturday, somebody decided they were going to create a scam, if you like. Um, and they commented on everybody's comment and said, you've won the rod. You've won the rod. Well done, you've won the rod. Now, that wasn't me. They'd used my profile picture. Um, and I've had an absolute nightmare. People messaging me all week saying, oh, have I won the rod and can I have it posted? Um, guys, I'm really sorry. I've blocked them out. I've blocked whoever it was and I've reported them as a, as a, as a scammer. Um, at the moment, still, nobody has won the rod. Lewis from Medway Tackle was running the whole competition and he's gone on holiday to Ireland. So we won't be back now until next week when we will draw the winner. Um, and I will do it via video and post a video of us drawing the winner in the tackle shop so that everybody knows it's true. Um, but what I've heard today is this fella's got hold of people's email addresses and he's emailing people saying you've won the rod, all you need to do is send the postage money. Please do not send anyone any money. I will, I will be covering the postage out of my pocket. No one has got to pay anything. The winner of the rod will be getting the rod sent to them absolutely free by me or Lewis, whoever, whatever. Um, so do not anyone send or pay any money to anyone. Um, unless it's to my PayPal when you want to help out with the trips, whatever. Do not send any money to anyone via, via email, guys, because that is not me. Um, I just wanted to try and clear that up. Hopefully everybody will sort of hang on and watch the end of the video. Um, but yeah, um, and I'm really sorry this has happened, guys, but it's a bit out of my control. It's just what people do because they're absolute knobheads and they've got nothing better to do with their lives. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you on the next one.